Good morning children. Welcome to chapter 6 laser time part 5. In previous videos we discussed about leisure time, traditional laser time activities, modern leisure time activities, board games, boat races, martial arts, yoga asanas and pranayam, theater, storytelling, reading. In this video you are going to learn about popular leisure time venues, sports as entertainment. For popular leisure time venues, Chapal, a meeting place of villages. Chapal is the meeting place where people sit to read newspaper, watch television, share their joys and sorrows, celebrate festivals, etc. It is a favorite leisure time activity in the villages since olden times. The village elders and the pancha sit there to solve disputes or to discuss the issues related to the welfare of the village. So popular leisure time venues in urban areas and rural areas also we are going to learn. In rural areas, rural areas means villages. In the villages, Chopal is a meeting place of villagers. All the villagers, they will meet in one place that is called as Chopal. Chopal is a meeting place where people sit to read newspapers, watch television, share their joys and sorrows, celebrate festivals, etc. That means all the villagers, they'll sit in one place and they'll enjoy a lot. That means reading newspaper, otherwise they will watch television or share their joys and sorrows all. And they celebrate the festivals also all in one place. That place is called as Chapal. It is a favorite leisure time activity in the villages since olden times. Since olden times onwards, those all the villages they used to sit in one place and they enjoy a lot. That's why their favorite leisure time activity is the Chapal. The village elders and the pancha sit there to solve disputes. That means village elders. For that village who is the head, those are called as panchas. All the villagers and the panchas, that means elders, all they will sit in one place and they will solve the disputes. Disputes means among the people any quarrels are there, any problems are there, that all they will solve their problems and they discuss the issues related to the welfare of the village. How they can develop their village what they have to do that all the issues all they discuss in that particular place now in rural areas in the villages chapel in urban urban venues that means in urban areas that means in cities and towns in cities and towns most people get together at parks banquet halls marketplaces libraries coffee houses restaurants community centers etc how in the villages all the villagers uh, meet in the chopper like that in urban areas that means in cities and towns that most of the people they'll get together that means they this is the meeting place some people they'll meet in the parks some in banquet halls some in marketplaces or libraries coffee houses restaurants community centers anywhere they, where they want they'll meet and most of the traditional laser time activities are still followed in different parts of india so most of the traditional leisure time activities, these all in those places they will follow the traditional leisure time activities. What are those? Many new activities have also become popular. What are those? See, they are playing squash, volleyball, basketball, cricket, hockey, aerobics, visiting art galleries or listening to music. Whatever they want, they will and they enjoy like this. They will meet in one place where they want like that. That means at park. Okay, all they will discuss some issues present day, what, uh, what is happening around that all. Otherwise, all they will uh, listen to music. Otherwise, they play, play squash, volleyball, basketball, whatever they want, they will do in this urban areas. See, this is Shapal. In the village, all the villagers and the panchas, village elders, all they will sit and they will discuss about different issues any problems are there they will discuss and they'll solve their problems and they will take decisions for the welfare of the village and this is urban venue that means in cities and towns in the past like this uh, some group of people they will meet in one place and they enjoy some they will chit chat otherwise they play they listen to music whatever they want they'll do like that okay so Ladakh. Ladakh is towards north of our country, Himalayas are there. Down of the Himalayas, here there, 
one place is there that is Ladakh. Recently, the central government declared Ladakh is a union territory. And here, during the freezing winter months, the Ladakh is celebrate many religious festivals and other events of entertainment in the open spaces. The Buddhist whole dance, music and various other competitions. In the summer, the Ladakhis eagerly look forward to polo and archery. That means during the freezing winter, in the foot of the, their Himalayas are there. That means there the winters are very cool. The freezing winter months only, the, those Ladakhis, they celebrate different religious festivals by doing dance like this. In open places, all the people, they will meet there and they will celebrate their festivals and the Buddhists also they hold the dance and music and other various competitions also they will conduct and in the summer months the Ladakhis eagerly wait for forward to play polo or archery okay now sports as entertainment, cricket, hockey, football, volleyball, polo, badminton, archery, boxing, weightlifting are leisure time activities for both boys and girls. They are fun to play, watch or even listen to commentary. Some of them are individual games whereas others are team games or sports. In recent times, they have become career options for those who have a keen interest in sports and games. A sports person needs to have enthusiasm, self-motivation, discipline, physical stamina, mental alertness and confidence to face challenges. Team, game, team games teach discipline, harmony and team spirit. So these are the sports and games, cricket, hockey, football, all, uh, football, polo, badminton, archery, boxing, weightlifting or laser time activities for both boys and girls. So they are very fun to play and watch even listen to the commentary. So nowadays we are, wa we are watching through the televisions or internet, those cricket or hockey, football, all. In uh, earlier times, that means earlier times means for, 20,000, 20, 30 years back, these many televisions are not there. That's why those people, they use it to listen the commentary through ra radios. Okay, that also we will get so much fun. And some of them are individual games and some are team games. For example, if you take cricket, it is a team game. If you take boxing, it is an individual game. Okay, in recent times, they have become career options for those who have a keen interest in sports and games. Some people now they are taking that is a career option. That means that on that only they will depend. That means how the people who have keen interest towards that particular sports and games. Then they are they will they are making them to develop in that particular career. A sport person needs to have enthusiasm. Okay, if if anybody wants to become a sports person, then he needs to have enthusiasm, self-motivation. Discipline, physical stamina, mental alertness and confidence to face challenges. Then only a, a person can become a sports person. That means these are all qualities that sports person should have. And team games teaches discipline, harmony and team spirit. Team game means not only one person. A group of people they have to play the game. That is only team game. So, the team games teach what discipline, harmony and team spirit. See, here some great sports personalities are there. See, she is a, this is Pubama, she is a runner. Okay, Olympics she ran, she is a runner. And here Virat Kohli, cricketer. And here Jaspal Rana, he is a shooter. And Saina Nehwal, she is a badminton player. MS Dhoni, no need to say anything about him, he is a cricketer. And uh, here, Mary Cohn, boxer. These are the famous personal, sports personalities. Okay. And uh, that's all for this lesson. The lesson completed. Now a small assignment for you. Dash is a favorite leisure time activity in the villages since olden times. Name your favorite game. Which game you like that you have to write. Team games teach dash, dash and dash. Now only we discussed those three you have to write. Mention three qualities of a sports person. 
So those three quads. So many qualities we discuss now. Any three you have to write. Thank you, children.